Hello guys, uh, I am Dr. Fahim Khan, consultant rheumatologist in the Ortiven Hospital, Kilkenny, and I want to give you a quick update on arthritis medication we are using in the context of the coronavirus pandemic. So this is one of the continuation of my videos, and uh, this is just an advice on patients who have rheumatologic conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or any other inflammatory arthritis or patients who have conditions like connective tissue disorders like lupus and patients who are on long-term steroids or taking medications which are disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or they are injections by logic therapy. So I just want to give you a quick advice where we stand, what precautions we have to do. So the most important thing uh, would be very important before we go into any discussions as regards to the medication is that please do not forget frequent hand washing very very important at least 20 seconds of hand washing is important and try to avoid to touch your face social distancing that's also very important so coming back to the medications that we have in rheumatology practice Methotrexate is a drug, JAK inhibitors, biologic therapy, corticosteroids. So rheumatologists would use these type of medications for patients with rheumatologic condition, which we, as you know, we see patients who have rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, patients who have inflammatory arthritis, autoimmune inflammatory arthritis and autoimmune conditions like connective tissue disorder, systemic lupus erythematosus, mixed connective tissue disorders, condition like Sjogren's disease, vasculitis, muscle disorders, myositis, conditions in which patients would need to use steroids on a long-term basis, like giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis polymyalgia, rheumatica, and so on. So there are many conditions that, as a rheumatologist, we'll see them, and patients would be on long-term medications. So I think it is very, very important that uh, what we are doing right now is, like in my rheumatology clinic, we are taking all the precautions as regards to the coronavirus. Uh, we are still seeing patients uh, aiming to make sure that their disease is well controlled. That's very, very important. Because if the disease is not well controlled, they are at risk of getting infections, things like that. So it's important. Plus, of course, adjusting their medication. So patients who are on um, a bigger dose of steroids, so we try our best that if they don't need to stay on bigger dose of steroids, we try to cut down the dose or perhaps take them off steroids. Um, methotrexate is a drug which has potential for uh, immune suppression, uh, similarly steroids, similarly biologics, and JAK inhibitors, and many other rheumatology medications, except the only medication that does not affect or, or you know, like, or increase your risk of infection is hydroxychloroquine. So patients who are on methotrexate, and if their disease is very well controlled, and if there is any potential to reduce the dose slightly of methotrexate, uh, I'm personally trying my best to minimize the risk of immunosuppression, risk of infection. I'll see if their dose can be slightly adjusted or reduced, so we try our best, but that depends from patient to patient, depending upon so many other conditions, whether patient is at high risk of relapse or not. So we are, each individual patient is different. We, we see them in the clinic, assess their disease activity scores, uh, by mm -hmm. clinical methods, uh, we have methods used, uh, disease assessment scores, uh, ultrasound, and so on, so blood test markers, and you know, so once their disease is well controlled, and if there are any potential here that we can adjust their medication from a very high dose of methotrexate, if you want to slowly reduce it, minimizing the risk of immunosuppression because of drugs, for example, like methotrexate, or um, you know, increased risk of infection, we try to see if we can slowly you know, reduce the dose of 
let's say methotrexate, similar thing is biologics. We prefer patients should stay on their medication for the time being because one of the problem is that um, they, they, they could end up with a high risk of flare-up. So it very much depends from case to case. So the point is that please continue taking whatever medications you're taking, like methotrexate, even low-dose steroids, or whatever dose you have been prescribed by your rheumatologist, Plaquenil, etc. You know, JAK inhibitors and you know, biologic therapy, as long as you don't have any symptoms. But if you are exposed to coronavirus, I think it is important that particularly biologics should be stopped. And methotrexate, some patient could continue taking it, but I think it's better that the, in, or in my personal opinion, that methotrexate should be temporarily stopped. Same thing applies to medication like JAK inhibitors, uh, patients who are taking steroids, steroid, we don't stop them. Plaquenil, hydroxychloroquine, we don't stop them, and you don't need to stop taking Plaquenil, or if you're taking low dose of steroids, or you know, you're, you're admitting doctor may need to adjust the dose of steroids for you. But hydroxychloroquine, uh, and we have looked at uh, studies performed in patients with uh, heart failure uh, and some other studies that steroid, uh, sorry, hydroxychloroquine does not increase your risk of infection. And as you know, there's the, this debate going on whether hydroxychloroquine, in fact, FDA has approved it, can be used to treat coronavirus COVID-19. So I think right now we are not very clear. Some of the centers are using hydroxychloroquine uh, for the treatment for coronavirus infection, but I'm talking about my uh, rheumatology patients or pay, uh, that they should not come off the hydroxychloroquine or plaquenil therapy, so they should continue with it. Uh, coming back to methotrexate, uh, some patient might need to continue taking methotrexate, uh, but let's say for whatever reason, if their immune system is suppressed, they may need to come off methotrexate temporarily. And, and I think it's important for you to understand that uh, uh, if methotrexate is stopped, it's very unlikely that uh, patients would end up with a flare-up straight away because, you see, methotrexate stays in your system for, for a few weeks. So it would be very unlikely that while you're off methotrexate, you would end up with a flare-up. Biologic therapy, some of the studies are now promoting using medication like biologics to treat coronavirus, but we don't have enough data there. Maybe a different, smaller dose of the biologics is used. But right now, um, patients who are on biologic therapy, if they have exposure to coronavirus, there's a very high risk of further immune suppression, risk of infection. So the general advice so far, which I give it to the patient is, once you have a coronavirus infection, please stop your biologic therapy immediately. But much depends upon the admitting physician and so on. So guys, that's very important for you to understand. And um, right now, um, if you have any question, concern, please get in touch with us. Uh, rheumatology Clinic website is www.arthritisandpainclinic.com www.arthritisandpainclinic.com My email is rheumatologyclinics at gmail.com rheumatologyclinics at gmail.com So most importantly, stay safe. Uh, get in touch with your primary care physician for any concern, advice, your rheumatologist. Um, I'm seeing patients, uh, of course, with uh, um, we have... Uh, well-spaced appointment timing. We, we are seeing one patient at a time. Um, some doctors are using video calls for the patient, video consultations. Uh, I see them in my clinic. I assess their disease activity. We are taking every precaution here to minimize the risk of the coronavirus infection and giving advice to the patients what they need to do assessing their disease activity scores. So thank you very much, guys, and stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.